lost paradise that has always been here with you. Only you could not see it. A hidden Eden. That secret garden of your being. The place where you feel home safe and blissful. An inner bedroom created from a sense of ease and feeling of belonging. There is so much to creativity. So much that can define it. So much that can express it. Just an instinctive definition. give a voice to it, and that voice is the sound itself we are listening to begin with. That journey takes us back to our beginning. We sometimes seek things on the outside when this outer world is only a reflection of what is inside. This space on the light never disappears. Whatever the path it takes. Although ice melts into water and changes form, its essence remains the same. By letting go of attachment to form and the external matter that surrounds us and attacks us, we can see the real nature of who we are. In the lands of nature, we are still whole. Pacing a place like a glacier is also like a reminder of how something so massive and seemingly timeless can still have its end. There is a deep sadness to it as well, knowing that humans contribute to these life cycles of nature, ending sooner than their time. But in the end, it brings me comfort to know that it will always be there regardless. It will expand and nature will ultimately be all that still stands on this. Nature of who we are. We can recall what was there all along. Our heart transforms through its system of processing emotions into an expanding expanding to its wider potential, taming sensitivity.
us to reflect on this space we hold inside, the spiritual side of our creativity, where it is born. Maybe it mirrors all those things we go digging and explore when creating, the emotions, the pathways we have to take in ourselves to transform our space. Like your breath gets taken away and becomes part of the majesty of your surroundings. It's ecology. The landscape echoes back what is inside. The earth is our largest and most intimate mirror. It reflects our self with its inner states and moods. We become vulnerable but whole in the sensitive state when facing the wild. It helps us understand our strength and nurture it, which is one of the most important keys to healing. Giving gratitude to the earth is a way to recognize how it cradles us in its arms, how cared for we are, even when we don't realize it. Being in nature is a way of proving to ourselves that we are showing the new dimensions of ourselves so we can become a little more upgraded and see things with so much more wisdom. Maybe I feel like we are asking for it as artists and musicians. We are willing to accept these challenges and moments of instability to give the treasures these moments give us back into our art for others. A bit like oracles are guides and messengers, musicians are the translators of the language of the muses.
become so separated from our nature, both who we are and nature itself, that we forget about the shared experience that connects us. The more that we can love and heal ourselves, be gentle with ourselves, the more we can develop empathy for others and for the earth itself. We become responsible for our emotions and how we can best utilize them in a constructive way. And this is our map to that hidden Eden, the place inside our core where we can reconnect, reinstall the programming and choose our own. The voice of the world is sent and is expressed through all those different people in a unique way. Each chromosome and DNA formation being one of those branches of that mother root our heart being the connector to this dimension. Through the heart, we become in contact with the sense of it. In that space, we can be each other's lighthouses. We can choose to take a step back, just to breathe and observe the symphony.
fires and volcanoes contain an ongoing cycle of life and death, light and darkness. One does not exist without the other, they are dependent on one another. Through this deep exchange of energy, we also welcome our shadows to unveil themselves. The light also becomes a spotlight. It lets us untangle the darker parts of who we are in order to see how our brighter sides exist too. We accept our shadows to find ways to direct this darker power toward compassion for the purpose of protection. But going to those places can also fill you with light and the understanding that we all share a pain that is longing to be healed. When we know this, we can direct our own healing powers out to others. Seeing how the heart is a golden thread, pulling us up from the deepest holes through the creative process. Realizing how that place in our creativity is kind of a laboratory, but a holy one, like a shrine where we can let go. Even our darker sides, because the fact that it is holy and sacred protects it and is transforming what can consume us or others into its total opposite. This is the core of alchemy. That hidden Eden is the secret garden where sorrow, anger and all those darker emotions retrieve their origin and become the pathways to the light. They are the cracks that let the light shine through.
this is the pathway for returning home to your true self. Creativity is more than just an act of pleasure or distraction. It is a vital element to human life, one of the main ingredients to evolution. Just like breathing, it is essential. Being creative is the bridge that connects the physical world we experience with the spiritual world that makes us. Art is the ground where science and spirituality meet, the connector of the mastery and the mystery. Returning home is in the sun shimmering on the water or the morning birds singing. It is a little voice whispering to you, more familiar feeling from the sky. It is that hidden Eden. It is paradise that you are craving whenever connecting to your core and the infinite being and intelligence of the cosmos that is bound to your imagination and creativity. And the heart is the power supply to connect to that space. Out of the big dreams that make us brighter and thriving, only it is hidden inside you, inside me. It needs to stay secret, for everyone knows it, but only yourself can truly go there. It is your own personal golden treasure. Nobody else has the same that has no comfortable value and is an unbounded source of wealth. The world is creation. From there, Eden is a step away. Hidden in your heart. Hidden in your soul. Hidden in the trees. Hidden in the wind. As you let the flow emerge, the sun bows back at you in awe of its magnificence. The stars shine brighter. You know your worth and it honors you back. Paradise, secret garden, show me the race so I can breathe and blow tenderly on the sufferings of the world. 